Let's have a seat on our chair. We do have my water bottle. Have a seat. Feet are on the floor. Toes are pointing straight ahead. We do sit a little bit further forward on our chair, so we have plenty of space to move. Shoulder rolls are first. We bring our shoulders up, back, and down. Take an inhale, reach up. Here's your inhale. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale, nose or mouth, whichever is more comfortable. Two more. Big inhale, reach up. Start filling the lungs with air. One more time. Big reach up. Side stretch here. Sweep the right arm up. There is a lengthen down the right side. Drop the arm, left arm goes up. We'll do this one more time on each side. Here's that stretch, right arm up. And now the left arm goes up. Bring both your arms up here, clasp your hands, flip your palms towards the ceiling, lengthen in your waistline, Feel your spine get taller and longer. Maybe wiggle it out a little bit. Release your fingertips. Take a gentle twist to the right. Arms come down. There is your gentle twist. Fingertips go up. Gentle twist to the left. Fingertips go up. Palms face the front. You're going to sweep down, lift your fingertips, and then flip. There is that movement. Shoulders, wrists forearms. Let the arms flow up with an inhale, down with an exhale. Here's the up and the down. This time, bring your hands right to your lap or your cow cat. The chest is lifting. And now open between your shoulder blades, open mid, low back. Reverse it. It's an inhale as you open your chest, exhale as you round. Do a few of these wherever it feels good for you. One more time, finish the full movement. Move all the way through the spine. Sit up tall, open your arms to the side, lift your chest, big inhale, hug a big ball as you exhale. Do that again. Chest is opening. Upper back is opening. Open the chest. Open the upper back. We'll do that one more time. Chest opens. Hug your ball. Relax your arms by your side. Take a big shoulder roll. Get your shoulders up, back, and down. Lift your right leg. Ankle circles. Take it around in one direction. Take it around in the other direction. Switch legs. Ankle circles first. Change direction. Knee hug is here, big or small, wherever it works for your body. Both the sides, take the other side, give yourself a big hug. We'll do that one more time on each side. Finish this one. Now it's your hip circle out, slide in. Movement through your hip joint. Circle and slide, circle and slide. And just check, is your ankle over your knee as under your knee? As you circle out, slide in. And the next one, it's a slide out, circle in. Sit up tall. Let the hips make the movement. One more time, each side as you circle, slide and circle. Feet go out in front of you. Toes are up, both feet are out, arms go to the front, push your toes down, pull your elbows back, move through your ankles here, move through your upper body, 
Let the shoulders relax down. It's a push and pull as your feet go up and down. One more time, feet can come in here and we're gonna lift our toes and stretch your fingers. Make a fist, lift your heels, stretch your fingers, lift your toes, make a fist, do that again. Fingers and toes, fist and heels. One more time. Keep the feet flat. Take your hands so the palms face in. Little shoulder, internal, external rotation. Chance to open up the chest a little more, a little squeeze between the shoulder blades. Range of motion wherever it works for you. Feet are staying flat. We'll do this one more time. Arms are gonna come down by your side. Add a little lean forward. You're gonna reach right arm out to the front. Left arm is gonna reach behind you. Little reach, fingertip to fingertip, and then switch. There comes the other side. So you're gonna sweep your arms, and then sweep your arms. Feet are gonna stay flat. You're going to engage your core, and you're taking one hand to the front, one to the back, and then you switch sides. Four more times. Four, three, two. Finish this, arms come down by your side. Bring yourself up, take your hands up to a Y, pull it down to a W. Reach up for a Y, pull down to a W, upper back. We're strengthening here. This is for our posture. Pull down. It's a Y, lengthen. It's a W, pull. One more time. Reach up. Pull down. Bring your arms all the way down. Add a march. Marching options here. Big, small. Now let's add. Swing the arms. We're going to do a little march. Opposite arm, opposite leg. So take it at a pace where you're doing opposite arm, opposite leg. Maybe you take it a little slower. You can keep it smaller. There's your swing, swing. Think of it as if you're walking, right? You do opposite arm, opposite leg. Right here, plant your feet. Go into a knee lift with the opposite arm. So Right leg, left arm, then you bring it down, switch. So right leg, left arm, left leg, right arm. There is your lift and lift. One more time on each side. And we're gonna switch this up, come back to your march. And I'm gonna have to concentrate here a little bit. Here's your march, and now same arm, same leg. So now you're moving the same arm, same leg, opposite of what we do when we're walking. If you're like me, I have to concentrate a little bit more to get this going. You might take it a little bit slower as you take the movement, but it might be natural and you just do it. Now we are gonna make this into the bigger movement. So think right arm, right leg comes up and then left arm, left leg. So it, rather than opposites today, we're gonna bring it up to the same. There is that lift and lift. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, Bring it back to a march. Arms can stay down wherever that march is for you. Maybe it's heels. We're gonna take the arms to the side and we're gonna cross our arms in front. So we're gonna start with some crosses. And I'm gonna, we're then gonna do two crosses and two claps as your feet move. So here's one. And now this time clap your hands twice. So you're gonna clap and clap, cross the arms twice. And now you're gonna 
clap, and clap. Cross the arms, and here's your clap and clap. Now I'm gonna let you go. We're gonna do this a few times. It's a cross, cross, clap, clap. Let's do that one more time. Feet can stop when you finish this and we'll work on the core. Feet are down, arms cross in front. Let's start with them up front high so you can do a little spinal twist, core twist here. Really engage through the center. And now I want you, when you do these, think of more of a zip up so you're not pressing your pelvis down, but you're doing more of a lift up as you add your twists. There's four, three, two, meet in the front, drop your arms down, add a lean forward, reach through the top of your head, Sit up tall, add your lean back, big or small. This is core, no pain in your low back here. Sit up tall, lean to the front. Sit tall, lean to the back, hold it there. I'm going to add on this time, you're gonna sit tall, lean, reach your arms to the front. And take a little lean off to the right. So you're going to kind of reach, lean, use the core. Bring the arms in, add a lean to the back. So right there is your core as you lean back. Kind of working in different planes here. Sit up tall, reach your arms to the front. Here comes a lean to the left side. You're reaching diagonal, get into the core. And then you bring it up. Cross your arms, lean back. We'll do that again so you can really practice, get the feel of this. It's a sit up tall, arms go to the front, and then you're reaching and think, I'm going to try to touch the corner of my room. Bring the arms in, sit up tall, lean back. There is that core work as we lean back. Sit up tall, reach your arms to the front, little reach off to the diagonal, lengthen, lengthen. Bring it up. This time we're going to hold it as you lean back. And once you're here, hands can stay in front here, but maybe you can reach them out. That's going to add more challenge. Maybe you lift them diagonal and you're going to feel more work in your core. Remember to breathe. If you start holding your breath, exhale, exhale. And let's bring our hands down, sit up tall. It's a cow cat to release your back right there, a little cow cat. Sit up tall, take the bottoms of your feet together. It's a little stretch opening up the knees to the side, giving yourself a stretch here, kind of a release in the low back as well. Knees can come in, feet open up wide, circles here, take it around, circle through the top of your head, it's taking it around and around, change direction here, we take it in the other direction. Finish this one. Bring yourself to center. We're gonna stand up. We're gonna start doing our balancing moves. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. So if your water is underneath your chair, take a sip of water and we will start with um, some of our marching. So marching first. We're gonna be marching forward and back. I like to be able to practice that forward back movement, move to the front. So I'm coming right into your camera and then you're marching back. Use the space you have. It might make more sense. I am going to take it across, across my room so I'm not going right into the camera. And you're going marching back. Now you might choose to go a little slower, so your gaze is forward, chin is level. And the same is when you go back. 
We'll do this a few more times just so you get the feeling of walking backward is where I really want you to focus. We want to think, get that uh, comfortable feeling in all directions. We'll all meet in a march. Bring yourself to a march here. And we're going to take it to a step touch. You're going to take your step touch. And now I just want you to take this into a double step touch to the side. There is your step touch to the side. And step cross if you want it. I went in front of my chair today. If you like to have your chair in front, which I just don't have the space, go behind your chair so you have it for balance. It's a step cross and a step cross. We'll do a couple more. Here's the last one. Bring it back to your march. We all want to march here. I do want you to have your chair handy if you want it. We're going to come into a couple different moves. We're going to start working by doing a side leg lift. We'll do the right side first. We're going to lift our arms to the side. We do this sometimes. Side lift, arms to the side. Okay, we're going to do two more like this. Lift and lower. Now feel free to use your chair. Here comes the change. Leg to the side, arms to the front. So now leg to the side, arms to the front. Leg to the side, arms to the front. I'm taking you into two separate planes. It's a way for us to use our brain. Arms in one direction, legs in the other direction. Three more. Three. Two. Finish that one, and we're gonna take it to the other side. Now you can always tap your toe down, so keep that in mind. We're gonna do our first few switching sides. I start with the arms to the side. Now right here, if you wanna really keep your toe down, that's okay. That might feel better. And now I'm gonna take a leg to the side, arms to the front. And sometimes what happens is one side cooperates, and the other side does its own thing. We're going to see if we can raise the arms to the front, lift the leg to the side. There's. Let's do three more here. Three. And again, you could keep your toes down here. Two. One more time. Let's take some hip circles. Those side leg lifts, they challenge your hips, your balance, your standing leg, as well as your lifting leg. This is your chance to loosen it up. Change direction, take it around in the other direction, loosen up your hips. We're sticking with this balance. Now I have my bookcase here, I'm gonna use it, but if you wanna go on the other side of your chair, we're gonna lift the knee up and find your balance here. So here comes a knee lift. And once you have that today, I'm gonna to have you clasp your hands and think of making like a figure eight. And we're gonna see if my toes went down, but when you move your arms as you hold your balance, a little more challenging. And then you go ahead, set it down. And you saw my, lift, my leg wasn't as high. You can keep your toes down. It's, an, it's a new move. Here's toes down or up. And then when you're ready, add your figure eight. So I'm thinking little swooping down and around, moving the arms. And maybe you hold on to your chair and do just one arm as you take it up and around. There is your last one. Set the leg down. Add some leg swings. So a little swing forward back. Feel free to hold on so you can really use this to loosen up your hip. Finish this swing, take it to the other side. And yes, I'm using my chair. I wanna be able to focus on the swing of the leg. So there's your chance, loosen up the hip. 
We're going to now work on strengthening our glutes. We're going to do that. And I'm going to have you hold on to the chair so you can really focus on the strengthening of the leg we're lifting. So right here, you're going to take one foot behind you. If you can, keep it straight, but you might need to add a little bend. And we're going to lift the leg and tap it down. It's a small movement. So there's your low step. And, and maybe you even touch your glutes and you're like, yep, they're working. We want to make sure we don't go into our low back. There's five, four, three. I'm adding on, keep the leg upright here and add little circles in one direction and little circles in the other direction. And now you're gonna strain your leg and then squeeze the heel to your glutes. Extend out, and now you're bringing it for your hamstring, but I still want you feeling your butt working. Let's do three more. Here's three. It's two. One more time. And go ahead, set the leg down. Shake it out. I'm going to take it to the other side just so you can see a little better. It is for your butt. We do get into your hamstring. And yes, your standing leg is working as well. Here comes foot behind. You try to keep the leg straight. It's a little lift and tap down. So one way to make sure you're not using your low back too much, pull the belly in, stand up tall. And yes, your standing leg might feel some work happening. Here's five, four, three, two. Leg stays up, little point, little circles around. Mine aren't very big. Change direction, take it around. Stop the leg and then bend the knee, squeeze the foot in, extend it out. Five, four, three, two. Here is your march. You're going to march it out. Now use this march to shake it out. So a little shake, shake. Let the hips relax. Let the butt relax. Let the thighs relax. There's your march. Now keep your chair nearby. We're going to march on our toes. Maybe you hold on to your chair. We just work the legs. When our legs get a little more tired, that might mean that your balance becomes a little bit more off because your legs are getting tired. March down and now march on your heels, lift your toes. Little squeeze of the butt. You might be able to tell that you worked it now. Keep that and then go ahead, relax the feet. We're gonna bring it behind our chair so we can take some side lunges. Feet are opening up a little wider. Here's your lunge to one side. Think of this as a nice stretch, but we're still strengthening. So again, you might feel that work that you just did in your butt, in your thighs. It's a little slide side to side. Use your chair if you want. Otherwise, maybe you can take a big reach over, lengthen off, and then take it to the other side. You're going to reach your arm, get a little longer. Here it comes. Stretch your arm, lengthen the leg. Stretch the arm, lengthen the leg. One more time on each side. Here comes your last one. Bring yourself right to the center. Give yourself a nice stretch. Use your chair. Now our toes have to go in the same direction as our, the direction of our knees. When we're stretching, that means our knees face the front, toes will face the front, your bum stretches back, and you take it wherever it feels good. Get that nice stretch down the back. We're going to carefully bring yourself up. Go slow so you don't get dizzy. Walk your feet in. We are going to take a tightrope 
around our chair. Go whichever direction you want to go. Feel free to use your chair for balance. And you're going to walk yourself around your chair and think chin level to the ground. We want to see if we can do this without looking down. Walk yourself all the way around. We're going to do this twice. And some of you might go faster. Some of you might go slower. When you finish, we'll just meet next to our chair. I have one more round to go. I want you to take your time, really focus on staying balanced and looking forward as you do this. Finish yourself all the way around. Now, keep going if you still have a couple more steps to go. If you already finished and you're ahead of me, add a little march. I want you to finish, take your time. I don't want you to feel rushed. The tightrope rock is a great way to work our balance. We'll all meet a little bit behind our chair. We have our step up and over. You're going to take your step up and over and up and over. It could be big or small. You might push your arms to the front and bring it in. Those are always optional. You don't have to add the arms. You might choose to um, do just the legs. Use your chair. There's your up and over, up and over. We'll do one more each direction. I'm gonna add a couple stretches while we're standing. Some, some muscles are just easier to stretch when we're standing, let your arms come down. Stretching our calf for one, easier when we're standing. Take your right foot forward. You could go behind your chair. Left heel presses down. Now I want you to feel a good stretch. This is for the lower leg, your calf. If you don't feel it, take a look. See if your heels are behind like your second, third toe. And then maybe you have to straighten out your hips. So if they're turning one way or the other, you might need to bring them to the front and feel the stretch down the back of the leg. Bring it up, switch to the other side. Same thing here, we're stretching the lower leg. So there's that thick heel goes back. And then if your hips, like I said, are off to the side, you're gonna increase the stretch if you have them face front and level. So if they're offset, you just kind of level it out and sometimes you'll feel that stretching could be feeling it down the front of the leg as well as the back of the leg. It could be in your waistline. You're gonna bring it up right here. We are gonna add on. Take this right leg behind your left. Hold on to your chair. We're crossing our legs. If that is not good for you, keep your feet right next to each other. Right arm goes up, it touches the ceiling and you have a lean over to the side. Relax this side down. We're gonna take it to the other side. If you need to step to the other side of your chair, go for it. I have my bookcase. It will be left behind right. Left fingertips go up. And there's your stretch down the side as you lengthen. And really push your, push your feet down. And there it comes. Arm comes down. Now I want to stretch our quadricep while we're standing. And I totally get it. I'm going to show you two options. If you can reach maybe your pants and stretch the front of your thigh, your heel, you're going to take your stretch here. I get it. If you've had knee surgery, that's not a thing. You can take your think shin on the chair and take your stretch on your chair. So I don't know if you can see that good. I don't know how else to just show it. I'm just bending here and getting the stretch in my quadricep. 
Same idea, hips need to be level. Give yourself a nice stretch. Quadricep hip. Relax that side. I'm gonna show both versions. Here comes. Maybe you hold your pants, your sock, your shoe for a stretch down the front of the thigh. That's one option. Your other option is take the knee on the chair and add your stretch here and try to adjust your hips so you get a nice stretch down the front of the thigh. So this one might be more comfortable and feel free, hold on to your chair for balance. Go ahead, release it here. Now, before we sit down, I am gonna have you do hip circles one more time. Loosen up your hips, take it around. You're gonna take it around in the other direction. We're getting ready to have a seat. I'm gonna grab a sip of water before I sit down. I'm gonna grab my hand weights. I'm bringing them with me down to the chair. Have a seat. Now we still need to stay a little further forward. We are gonna do some rows, tossing in a couple different moves today. Here comes feet flat on the floor, arms down by your side. Here's your classic row. Elbows slide up, elbows slide down. We slide up, slide down. This move is for your back. And if you ever feel discomfort in your low back, adjust where your lean is and also think, are you engaging your core as you make the movement? Sometimes we collapse into our lap and we go through the movement, but we're not intentional with how we're using our whole body. We have 10 more to go. Little higher number set of reps today. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two. Now this time you're gonna bring yourself all the way up. Carefully bring yourself up. And we have side raises. We're gonna lift our arms to the side and bring them down. Now, if your shoulders don't wanna cooperate, do one arm at a time as you do the lift and lower. We're doing a total of 10 Shoulders, smaller muscle group. I often don't do as many reps when we get into these smaller groups. Four, three, two. Now you're going to finish this one and let your arms come down. Give yourself a little shoulder roll, relax your arms. Bring your arms in front of you. Now my weights, I'm gonna set them in front right here. Little twist to the right and twist to the left. Twist to the right, twist to the left. Now control this movement with your core. Our hips are gonna stay planted on our chair. It's a little twist and seven, six, Five, four, three, two. Finish that one, bring it to center. Arms can go down. And here is your bicep curl. We curl up, we slow it down. Bring it up, slow it down. Take it up. Slow it down. Lift, low. We intentionally take our time on the way down. Five more. Five. 
four, three, two, here comes our diagonal lift. Thumbs are up, and you're going to reach to the corners of your room and bring it down. Really use your core. And again, if it feels better, do one arm at a time. We're working the upper back. It's shoulders, lots of core. Remember to breathe. Five more to go. Five, four, three, two. One more time. Arms can stay down. I'm going to set one weight underneath my chair. So one weight down, out of the way. Take the other one off to the side, elbow behind, hands behind your head, elbow up, little crunches for your core. Here comes a little core work. Now, remember I said core work, so I don't want you to overextend down. I want you to think, lift up with the core. I have your elbow up so you stay more in a straight line and think elbow taps the ceiling, you bring it up. Five, four, three, two. Now we have the other side to go. Once you're up, switch hands with the weight. Arm is off to the side. Hand is behind your head. Elbow opens. Crunch and lift. Crunch and lift. Again, we want to make sure use the core. Think engage, maybe a little, think more zip up. As I mentioned earlier, we want to do more of a zip up than a push down. We want to keep our pelvis area strong with the zip up. Three more. Three. Two, one more time. I do want to catch our triceps yet. Take the weight in one hand. We're going to be taking it up. You can have it a little diagonal in front of you. I'm going to support my arm with my hand. And there comes your tricep down and bring it up. So if you don't want it all the way up over your head because of shoulder mobility, have it a little bit in front of you. And just remember our focus is the back of the upper arm. There's your five, four, three, two. Carefully bring the arm down and then we switch. You can take the weight in the other hand. And I'm doing a little diagonal today as you press back and bring it up. Press back and bring it up. There's your down and up, down and up. We have five to go on this side and then we'll start stretching everything out. There's five, four, three, two, And one. Carefully bring your weight down. You can set it underneath your chair. Take one more sip of water. We're going to start stretching everything out. Let's start with a hamstring stretch. Let's start by putting both of our feet out in front today. Slide your hands a little bit down your thigh. Hamstring stretch is here, but you might feel this stretch in other areas. Be careful. I don't want you to fall off your chair. Give yourself a stretch where it feels good. Lift your chest. Slide one leg in. Here's your classic hamstring stretch. One leg out in front. I have my toes up to start. 
Now I drop the toes down. Bring it up, switching sides. Other leg is out, toes are up. Add your lean. Drop the toes down. Bring yourself up, open your legs up, give yourself a lean forward. This is part of the stretch. Drop the right arm, sweep it around, really lengthen through your fingertip. Leg can walk out, get a little bit longer, really stretch the side. Leg in, arm down. Here's the other side, arm sweeps over, start with the stretch. Leg walks out when you're ready, long line. Arm comes down, leg walks in, forearms are on your thighs. Drop the right arm, press it into your thigh. Left arm is gonna sweep up, it's a twist. Only do this if twisting is appropriate for your spine. Arm comes down, bring the left arm into the left leg, fingertips go up, there's your twist. Arm comes down, take your little forward fold wherever that is for you. I like to keep my head up. Feel free to drop down lower if it feels good for you. Slowly bring yourself up. You can bring your legs in right here. We're gonna take our arms out in front of us. Palms are gonna be down and you're gonna rotate and take your palms up. And now you're gonna bring your palms down and your palms up. We'll do that one more time. Down and up. Now once they're up, this is for your wrists. Fingertips are gonna go side to side. So your range of motion, wherever it works. And now you're gonna take your palms down, same thing. Wrist movement side to side. And now you're gonna take wrist circles. Circle your wrist around, circle them in the other direction. And now palms are gonna reach out there and now you're gonna rotate and tap your shoulder and then bring it back up. In and tap and bring it up. In and tap and bring it up. Keep your fingertips on your shoulders. Add some elbow circles up and around towards the back. Lift the chest, we did shoulder work. Loosen up your shoulders. Meet with your hands in goal posts. Bring your arms out to goal posts. And now bring your arms down by your waistline and reach your arms out and bring it in. A little stretch right there, out. And in, this time we keep them in. Take your fingertips or your palms to the front, little internal, external, one more little movement for your shoulders. You're going to take your hands out to the side, sweep them to the back of your chair, stretch your chest, your shoulders, chin can go up. Big breath, look to the front, bring your hands to your lap. Take one cow cat, lift up, round through your spine. Sit up tall, keep the torso tall, drop the chin to your chest. Slide your chin to your right shoulder. Slide your chin to the left shoulder. Chin to chest, look straight ahead. Turn your head to the right, stretch your neck. Turn your head to the left. Look to the front, take your arms to the outside of your thigh. Sit up tall, add a twist, turn your head, 
Move your eyes back over your shoulder. Bring it to the front, take it over to the other side. Turn your head, look with your eyes. Bring it back to the front, drop your arms by your side, take a big shoulder roll. Here are your inhales, take a big inhale, reach up. Exhale, blow it out, two more times, big reach up with your inhale. Blow it out as you exhale, and one more time, big reach up, inhale. Blow it out, exhale. And thank you all very much.